congratulations, Blake. How do you feel? Thank you very much. Um, can't describe it. I mean, it's by far the greatest feeling of my life. Um, I'm so excited. Can't wait. Blake, has it sunk in that you're a Jacksonville Jaguar? No, I don't think so. Probably not till tonight. You know, when I lay down in bed. Um, and I, I, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. You know, get to stay in Florida. Um, you know, I want to thank Mr. Conn and his family, Coach Russ, Gus Bradley and, and Dave Caldwell, and get to stay in the state of Florida and play for the Jaguars. And uh, it's, uh, you know, I mean, it, it's a dream come true. Were you surprised that you were the first quarterback select? You know, I would have been surprised if I was the, the first or the tenth. You know, I had no expectations coming into this thing. Um, I was just, you know, I was pumped to be here, be a part of this atmosphere, be in New York City. And, uh, and and when I heard my name called, you know, of course, you know, I, I was surprised and I was, uh, I was just ecstatic. Growing up, were you a, were you a Jags fan growing up? You know, growing up, I grew up a Packers fan. My dad was a huge Brett Favre fan, so he made me watch the Packers every Sunday. But, you know, obviously them being so close, always watching them. They were always on TV, and I was always watching them, you know, back in the Fred Taylor and, and Mark Brunel days. Um, you know, I remember going to games. You know, I, I've been to, like, five games in Jacksonville, and then obviously I got to high school and college and couldn't really go anymore because we were playing and doing stuff as well. But uh, but I've always been a Jacks fan. Well, then you know they've had trouble selling tickets. Do you think that's part of the reason you were drafted so early? I mean, there is a business side. Yeah, I'm sure there is. And I have no idea and zero clue about that side of it. Um, you know, I, I know that, that that I'm drafted to go there and compete and do everything I can to, to be the best Blake Bortles I can be. And that's what I'm going to do, and I can't wait to get to get started. Blake, Blake pulls lights out your whole life of kind of motivate you through things. What do you pull out of being number three overall pick? How do you pull out of that? Just to continue to be, you know, to, to, to be motivated from within, to be to be the best that I can be and, 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 and compete, you know, at every level is something that, that I'll always do, and uh, it's something that has, has helped me this far, and it's something that I'll continue to do. How did going to, how did going to start this I think a ton. You know, I think if you look at guys in the past, guys have performed better and had better careers if they were understudies. Um, so, you know, sat for a year. So I think being able to sit there and for a year or two years or you know, however long it is, being able to absorb and learn and you know, be a sponge and soak everything up. You know, Chad Henney's a you know a great um, NFL established quarterback. You know, he's already been there. He's been doing it in the, in the NFL for years. So to be able to sit there and learn from him and, and go out and compete every day is uh, is something that, that I look forward to. Like, what do you know about the Right. I know those great guys. You know, I had the opportunity to throw Cecil Shorts. Um, you know, I know they, they, they picked up Zane Beatles in free agency, you know, and, and they have great players. You know, I, I can't wait to get there and, and get with them and start working. Do they kind of hope that Justin will be able to join you? I hope so. I mean, I think everybody knows he's a phenomenal receiver. And, uh, you know, I hope he's there and I hope we get to throw together and, you know, I hope he's a big part of, of, of what we can do this next, upcoming year. Like you're a Florida guy, what does it mean, and a family guy, what does it mean to be playing 140 miles from Oviedo High to Everbank Field for your parents to be able to Yeah, did you look that up? I did. <laughs> um, it's awesome. I, you know, you can't ask for anything better to, to, to play college football five miles from my parents' house and now go 135 more the other way. Um, it's uh, it, it's a dream come true. What was your what was your? Yeah, you know I didn't know. You know obviously being a competitor, being not knowing anything. I, of course I thought I had an opportunity, but um, you know it was when when I got the, the call from from Dave Caldwell. It was that was that it, it just felt awesome. Like what are the intangibles that make you the best quarterback in this draft? Um, the intangibles, um, you know, something I've, I've always prided myself on the off the field stuff, stuff people can't see, things people can't measure, um, how much hard work, how much effort, how much time you put in, how much you care about winning, how competitive you are, how big your heart is. Um, I think all those things are things that, that people can't measure and you never will be able to. Um, you know, I think on the field, being a, being a big guy that can move around a little bit and extend plays and change launch points, um, I guess separates me a little bit from, from, from some other guys, but um, I think being able to compete and compete at a high level is, is something that, that I can do and I look forward to continue to do. Hey, on that, we talked at Play 60 about the UCF offense, off, off, offense and its unique design, but 
Do you have a feel for the Jacksonville offense, which seems to be like your own? Did anyone talk to you about how yeah. easy it would be to pick it up? Uh, very little. You know, we, we drew a couple concepts up and talked through some things. Right. And they do, they do a lot of stuff that we do. Right. Um, you know, at UCF that we did. So uh, it, it's something that's definitely similar. But, I mean, there's new lingo, just like there would be in any other offense that I'm going to have to learn. And um, a, whole, a whole bunch of new stuff. And I'm sure it, their playbook's way bigger than ours was at UCF. What um, this guy's awesome. Um, you know, I, I've had the opportunity to meet with him twice, once before Pro Day and then once in Jacksonville. And uh, every single time I've met with him and sat down and, and had a meeting with him one-on-one, -on -one, I've, I've walked out of the room thinking, you know, I just learned a lot. Um, this guy is, is unreal, and I can't wait to play for him. Was there a moment when the when the call happened where you kind of sat back finally and reflected on, on where you started and where you were ending up? No, not yet. I haven't I haven't had the opportunity to to, to think about a whole lot yet. So uh, I'm still kind of still kind of just ecstatic and in shock. And I'm sure tonight when I lay down, it'll it'll all hit me. Blake, will you encourage UCF fans to check? UCF out on Saturday and come over to Jacksonville Sunday? Of course. Sunday. Yeah, I wish I could have done that in college. I mean, how awesome is that that you get to go to a college football game and then drive an hour and a half, two hours and see an NFL game? I mean, it's a perfect setup. Um, so, I mean, I definitely hope that, that all the all of UCF Nation will, uh, will will come to Jacksonville and support support the Jags. How important was that staff in your development to, to get you to be a number three pick at UCF? the staff at UCF? Yeah, it was huge, you know, to be able to play for Coach O'Leary and Coach Taff, um, you know, in a pro-style offense, doing things that they do in the NFL, um, I think helped me out a lot, you know, being an understander, being in the shotgun, doing all kinds of different things, um, I think has prepared me, you know, tremendously, and, you know, I, I, I can't wait to, to start this new chapter in football and life and, and you know, really just, just start getting after it. Do you feel your low-key personality helped you win, win them over? I don't know. Uh, I mean, I think obviously it had some effect. Um, I mean, they had to kind of at least like me a little bit, I guess. Um, but I mean, I, I went into every meeting and every visit I went just being myself and making sure that, that whoever I was talking to understood who I was and uh, what kind of what kind of person I was. Why did you choose UCF? Because Australia, we think of Florida, we think of those other schools. Right. Yeah, it was it was the only offer in Florida I had. I had uh, a couple other offers to play tight end, so there wasn't a, a wide variety of choices. We, we could have used good Columbia. Yeah, it was a, that would have been cool. UCF was awesome, though. Wouldn't, uh, wouldn't have changed that decision for the world. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Got it.